Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 10 of Skill Practice which will be the last episode in the Skill Practice series and I will get more into that in the end of this episode but for now, let's get into the combo. It is the first time flick up a two sombrero flick and the way it works is you receive a pass and on your first touch you'll flick it up in the air and afterwards you'll flick it back over your head with the sombrero flick which is a 5 star skill move. So let's get into how you do it. You will need a 5 star skill of course and when you receive the pass you want to hold L2 and R1 or LT and RB depending on which console you're on then the ball will flick up in the air and while it's in the air keep on holding the same buttons and then hold the left stick backwards to flick it back over your head now if you do it with a player with 4 star skills or less you'll just get the overhead flick and it serves the exact same purpose uh, but I just think the sombrero flick looks way cooler so you should aim to do it with a 5 star skiller of course so yeah just a practice in the practice arena pass it to a five star skiller and see if you can pull it off it's really easy once you get the hang of it so uh, let's get into when you should use it in a game so uh, the best uh, uh, time to use it is when your opponent is kind of rushing towards you with a defender you'll need a little bit of space to him because it'll make it easier to get past him because he will rush into to watch your, uh, your attacker and you'll flick it in the opposite direction and you'll be able to accelerate away from him uh, and get uh, that a bit of space so that is where I find it most useful now there is another situation where you can use it and that is like here where the defender is really really close to you and I'll just uh, freeze the clip here because what very often happen when you play online is your opponent trying to head it away uh, with the same button he contains with and that means it very often interferes with it with each other and he will instead be be containing instead of being able to head it away because the ball is so close to his defender and uh, basically you'll be able to get a bit of space and turn around and get a shot in so you'll not pull it off perfectly but you'll still be able to to get a bit of space and take a shot so that is pretty much all for this tutorial guys I hope you learned something from it and now regarding to why I'm kind of ending the series is that um, I'm at the moment I'm having a really difficult time thinking of new content, uh, new skill moves and combos to show off and I feel it will kind of lower my content if I try keep on thinking of stuff because sometimes it can be quite difficult and I'd much rather wait for FIFA 14 because you know with all new FIFA's there's usually new skill moves and new skill combos you can pull off so I'd much ra rather wait for that point in time and then start it up again and then like uh, try and learn you guys new stuff there so I hope you do understand that and uh, that's pretty much all thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you later